Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be cooking some delicious green chili tamales stuffed with some chicken. Uh, thanks for being to my channel. Why don't you like, subscribe, um, and if you have any recipes you like, put them in the comment. We're going to start off with the, our green chili mole. You can find the video on my channel on how to uh, make that uh, ahead of time. We're going to use this for our, our chicken and uh, for our masa. We also already have our chicken, our shredded chicken. Um, took a half a chicken and just uh, cooked it, boiled it, and shredded it. We have our uh, corn husk. Uh, we put them in some warm water, leave them in there for several hours until they rehydrate and they become uh, uh, flexible and manageable. Uh, as well, we have uh, um, our masa. There's two times you can go buy masa that is prepared and masa that is not prepared. The prepared masa has manteca, salt, uh, baking powder and everything. The masa that's not prepared has none of that. We also have some uh, extra baking powder and some vegetable shortening. So let's get to it. Let's start making our tamales. So we have our green mole for two reasons. One is for our chicken. So we're just going to add our uh, shredded chicken into it. I'm going to let it simmer for, uh, for about 15 minutes or so in this green mole. And that's just going to add a ton of flavor to the chicken we're going to use to stuff. But we're also going to be using this uh, green chili mole to actually season the masa. So just uh, put it on a low simmer for about 15-20 uh, minutes. Let it just soak in all those flavors. All right, so our next step is to prepare our masa. We're taking about three pounds of prepared masa that has all the lard and uh, seasoning, salt and uh, baking powder, and about two pounds of masa that hasn't been prepared. It's just, uh, it's maseca with water. It's pretty dry. And that's gonna allow us to add that uh, extra flavor from the green chili mole without getting too watery. And we're gonna add then our uh, salt, again, the uh, masa that's not been prepared has no, nothing to it, so we need to add some salt. We also need to add some of the baking, baking powder. We're going to add about a, uh, a teaspoon of it. Uh, and uh, this is also going to help with some of the, the fluffiness of our, of our tamales. Uh, next, we're going to be adding our green chili mole to our uh, masa. So we're going to add about half a cup of our green chili mole to our masa. This will give it a depth of flavor uh, to our tamales. Uh, you're not just going to have the green chili flavor in our stuffing, but you're going to have it throughout the entirety of your tamal. Uh, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, this is why we get that extra um, masa unprepared. And so we're going to mix this all together. And once we get it all mixed together, then we're going to add some extra uh, manteca or uh, vegetable shortening. I mean, you can use some uh, some lard. Uh, definitely, uh, most people like to go that way. But we'll mix this, and then we're going to add our shortening to it. So we have our vegetable shortening here. Again, you can use manteca or, or lard. Uh, either way, uh, we're going to need about a cup of it or so uh, for our masa. Uh, and so we're just going to put it in a, a little, uh, little pot in the, a little pan. And we're going to let that melt and get really, really, really hot. You want it uh, as hot as possible without it getting smoking uh, to add to our masa. Okay. 
So uh, I recommend you taste the masa before you add the uh, shortening. If it needs a little bit more salt, uh, add it. Uh, again, you want the masa to be as flavorable as possible. Okay, so we're going to take our hot shortening, vegetable shortening. Again, we're going to add about a cup of it to it. Uh, you want it so hot that when you pour it into the masa, it's going to sizzle. All right. All right, so just, we're going to mix this one more time. Get it thoroughly mixed. And uh, just a reminder, if you don't have a mixer and you have to do this in a bowl by hand, make sure you fold the masa in and not just like knead it, compress it. You want to make it sure it still stays fluffy. So, Okay, so we have everything ready to put our tamales together. We have our chicken, we have our masa, we have our corn husk, our, our hojas. So let's put this together now just remember uh, when we put this together uh, try to use a good amount of the chicken and you can use a spoon or whatever uh, spatula you have to actually spread it out on the corn husk so uh, let's get started and put this together so when we start uh, putting that masa on make sure you uh, spread it all the way towards the bottom of the leaf but leave some space at the tip of it. Uh, also try to minimize the amount of mole you add. And that way, uh, make sure we don't have any spillage when we cook them. And again, when we fold them, just make sure we overlap, fold up in the middle, crimp the top, and uh, just continue doing that until we uh, pack all our tamales. So we have all our tamales here folded and ready to be cooked. And we're going to cook them in a steam pot with the rack on the bottom. Uh, make sure you have plenty of water on the bottom. And we're going to cook for them about an hour, maybe a little bit more, uh, but at least an hour. So as you can see here, we have plenty of steam going. Uh, our pot's ready. And so we're just going to try to overlay these tamales. Make sure there's a... Uh, space between them so the steam uh, can have full contact with them and cook them thoroughly. So our tamales are done here. We're just going to add a little bit of uh, our uh, salsa verde. Uh, just uh, it's a nice fresh touch to it. Um, you know your tamales are done by the way when you can pull them off the husk without them getting stuck. But they just look delicious, buttery. Uh, I mean, uh, let's have a taste here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, flavors are all there, nice and balanced. You get the spiciness of the mole, but still just just nice and, and flaky and buttery.